Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how I create a plan in my bullet journal for May. I hope I will be able to inspire you and give you a few ideas to decorate your own journal. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see more bullet journal videos. Firstly, I'm going to show you the materials that I will be using in this video. I use a book from Goad and Quill. I'm also going to use paint brushes, watercolors, acrylic paint, a black and a white fine liner, a yellow brush pen, glue, some more paint, a pair of scissors, and last but not least, paper clips for the decoration. I think it's time to start now. I'm showing you a little flip through of the pages that I have already created in this bullet journal. I see it as a memory book, so it will be a place where I store my thoughts, my favorite playlists or books. I will also add tiny illustrations or paintings. Now and then I will also use it to write down to-do lists or other stuff, but for now I like it this way. As you could already see here, I'm starting with a watercolor painting. I'm not painting directly on the paper since it is too thin for that. Instead I'm using special watercolor paper. You need thicker paper when you want to use watercolor since regular paper usually cannot handle so much water. By using multiple layers of paint and water you get a textured effect. That's exactly what you want. This is going to be a galaxy bottle representing the Milky Way. Since I have to wait before the paint is totally dry, I'm going to work on the other page. I'm adding a vintage postcard of Antwerp that I recently bought in the city, a quote that inspired this page and a couple of other details. If you have no idea how to start a journal entry, it's easiest to create a collage or a mood board. You can also search for pictures online and include them in your book. I recommend using websites like Pinterest or Tumblr. Sometimes I add a small flower. It may sound funny, but it kind of feels like it gives the page more character. It's the easiest to use dried flowers. I will add a tutorial down below in my description how you can easily dry and preserve your own flowers. Since the paint on the other page has dried, I'm going to finish it. I'm using black watercolor to paint the surroundings. After that, I'm going to write May down below the painting and all the dates. Before we go to the next spread, I was kind of wondering if you use a bullet journal as well. And if you do, what do you normally put in it? Do you plan entire weeks beforehand or do you use it to keep track of certain memories or events that have happened? I think it's nice how everyone can give their own unique touch to a bullet journal entry. To give the painting even more texture, I'm using the same technique I showed you in my last video. I'm grabbing a paintbrush and white paint to get the speckled effect on the painting. This is the final result of the first journal entry. I really like how the pages go together. Now it's time to work on the second spread for this journal entry. I'm starting with an envelope. I'm going to stick it into my book and I will later on show you what I'm planning to do with it. Here you see some old receipts that I still have from April and a couple of other cards that I want to keep. 
and in order to not lose them i'm going to put them in the envelope if you don't have an envelope in your house other options are coffee filters or you could even fold your own from a piece of paper since this page kind of looks boring right now i'm going to decorate it i do this by adding gold acrylics paint an image of a flower and of course another dry one i'm finishing it by writing down the title memory keeper and I use my fine liner to fill up the white space with some doodles. We have finished the memory keeper so we can work on the other page. Here I will write down a couple of important events that will take place in May. It's just a page where I can look back on if I want to see what the month of May will have in store for me and if I need to prepare something for that event. Since the paper sheet that I use here is quite small, I advise you to take a bigger sheet of paper so you have more room to write things down. I'm also adding the last details and I'm using my yellow brush pen to decorate the page even more. This is the final result of this spread. I really like how it turned out because even though it's quite simple, I love the idea of the memory keeper. You can put old receipts in it but also business cards or other notes that you want to keep. This also means that I'm finished with my final setup for the month May in my bullet journal. I hope that you like watching this video and if you have a bullet journal yourself, please let me know in the comments down below what you put into it. Perhaps we could inspire each other. I hope you have a nice day. Bye!